This time we're going to add mixed numbers. So remembering the process for converting mixed numbers to improper fractions. So how many thirds and how many quarters are we adding together? Looking at the first one, 3 times 3 is 9, add 2, that's 11 thirds. And the quarters, 2 times 4 is 8, add 2, that's 10. Remember we're adding these, so we need to find the common denominator. 3 times 4 is 12, that's the lowest common multiple we can get to with those numbers. To get from 3 to 12 we multiply by 4, so we multiply the numerator by 4, and that's 44. To get from 4 to 12 we multiply by 3, so we do the same with the 10 numerator, and that's 30. Now we're adding the 12ths together. 44 add 30 is 74. We have 74 twelfths. We need to convert that to a mixed number. How many times does 12 go into 74? Well, 6 times 12 is 72. So from 74 twelfths, we've taken out 72. How many left over? That's 2 twelfths. You may notice that you can simplify this one. 6 and 2 twelfths is the same as 6 and 1 6 because the numerator and denominator in 2 twelfths can be divided by 2. And finally, subtracting with mixed numbers. The same process to start with, we need to convert the mixed numbers to improper fractions. How many fifths and how many quarters? Looking at the fifths, 4 times 5 is 20, add 4, that's 24. Looking at the quarters, 3 times 4, that's 12, add 2, that's 14. And remember, we're subtracting here, and we need to make the denominators the same. The lowest common multiple of 5 and 4 is 20, so that's going to be our denominator. And remember to put in that subtraction sign. To get from 5 to 20, we multiply by 4, so we do the same with the 24 numerator. 24 times 4, that's 96. In the quarters, to get from 4 to 20, we multiply by 5, so we do the same with the 14. 14 multiplied by 5. In my head, I do 14 multiplied by 10, and then I halve it. So 14 multiplied by 10 is 140. Half of 140, that's 70. Now we're finding out how many twentieths will be left. 96 take away 70 leaves 26 and you can see here that we have an improper fraction so we need to convert that to a mixed number. How many times does 20 go into 26? Well if we go in once and then how many twentieths are left over? So we've taken 20 twentieths away which means we have 6 twentieths left and you may see there that we can simplify the 6 twentieths. So 1 and 6 twentieths is equivalent to 1 and 3 tenths.